Waste management, uh, to me, I would say it's not a problem, but the problem is people's mindset. And at the end of the day, you find uh, we are creating up landfills, which means we are increasing the toxics in the soil. Then you are also degrading the natural resources like water, climate, and so on. So when you combine all these, you find the way how we dispose of waste is not the right way. So we need to get a right way to at least live in an eco-friendly environment. I'm 23 years old. I'm Kandole Regan. Actually, I'm a eco artist, but I'm a graduate and as a, I've graduated as an art teacher. I specialized in art and design with education. I've been paying for myself since my high school through this waste. When I see waste, a lot of questions come in my mind. I'm like, what can we do to reduce this problem? I'm trying to catch people's attention in a way like I'm not a policymaker, I'm an artist. And my work is to create discussions in the community or in the amongst people. I had to share an idea with a few students. Initially we started two, like I shared the idea with two people, two people became ten, ten people became twenty, like they started getting motivated. So we would help them understand how to sort waste, then later utilize it like the degradable waste, utilizing it to make manure. And this non-degradable waste for us would use it as uh, artists, like as an advantage to get materials to do art. So I try to push this whole idea to the youth in a way of using their own environment to be creative way and create their own jobs. So when I relate to this area of recycling, I find it cheaper for a youth to start up something. If a kid has made such a ball, and if we make maybe look a market, for a market for this kid, you'll empower that kid and he'll grow knowing that, oh, through recycling I can earn myself something. Our future plan is to go in schools and capture the young generation. They are the future generation. There is a saying that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. So it's better to start with the local people and the young people, such that you tune their mind. Maybe in 20 years from now, people will change their mindset. You have to explore all means and see how you can try to live in, a, in, in around your environment. And also to come up in such communities, you get to listen to their stories, you get really to get attached to them. It really, I mean, that small smile you put on someone's face creates a big change in someone's life.